and Morning, the most news in the morning, period. With day 6 Eastern. The motion is adopted. Ever since the bailout was passed, it's been a mess. Banks buying private jets, spending billions of dollars on bonuses, and so on. A, you have to avoid being stupid. The chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, Barney Frank, says the party's over. The government is finally gearing up to follow the money. And as I've said to a couple of the bankers, here's this problem. People really hate you, and they're starting to hate us because we're hanging out with you. And you have to help us deal with that. There are signs the banks may be listening. Wells Fargo, which got $25 billion in bailout money, says it's pulling the plug on its upcoming annual conference in Las Vegas. An outing the company had planned to hold at the ritzy Wynn Hotel and Casino later this month. In previous years, the Associated Press says attendees were treated to performances by Cher and Jay Leno. But a Wells Fargo spokesperson defends the event, saying its bailout money is being used to help its customers. In light of the current environment, the statement reads, we have now decided to cancel this event. Craig Holman with Public Citizen says, now is the time to open the books on the bailout. We need to know exactly how they're spending that money, and on top of it, we should be applying conditions as to where that money can be spent. I fully intend to keep you fully and promptly apprised of significant findings and concerns. The special inspector general overseeing the bailout is preparing to send notices to banks, demanding they document where the money has gone. How far will the government go? A spokeswoman for the Treasury Department says, we have subpoena power. The banking industry says, it has nothing to hide. The Treasury is going to ask us to reveal it monthly. We welcome that. We would like for that to happen. That's going to happen. We, that is going to happen, and it should happen, because we've got a good story to tell. In the face of mounting criticism, some of the big bailout recipients are starting to offer a peek at what they've done with the money, saying much of it has gone to new lending. The Treasury Department says don't expect to see their findings on the bailout money until the spring. And, Kieran, I have to tell you that uh, Wells Fargo has already paid a dividend back to the Treasury Department of some $371 million. So we are starting to see a return on the investment. They say they're also lending some of that bailout money. But the problem is at this point, Karen, we cannot independently verify what the banks have done with this money because I talked to several agencies of the federal, federal government yesterday. We just don't know. Nobody has really tracked where that money has gone inside the federal government. Right, and it's territory we haven't been in before. We're walking that fine line. I mean, they're private institutions. At the same time, they're being propped up by the government. And so, right. you know, where does the government uh, get to step in when they think things are uh, getting a little bit out of control? Very interesting for sure. Jim Acosta, thanks so much.